With Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel confirming that he will be driving for Aston Martin next year in place of Sergio Perez, the driver market has another free agent in the form of Perez. However, the number of seats remaining is decreasing with each day. Teams with open seats still remaining are now spoilt for choice, and Haas team principal Gunther Steiner has now elaborated on this. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, 10 drivers on Haas shortlist. Steiner began by explaining that they are approaching the driver market with an open mind. We are speaking with everybody, and we need to see what we want to do, and then decide what we are going to do. I don't think there's many seats free in the moment anyway, so that is on my side. He further elaborated on this. Everybody's considered who is on the market. We lay everything on a table and then we see what we want. What do we want? Do we want to keep the drivers we have got? Do we want experienced drivers? Do we want to start with young drivers? Do we do a mix of it? Everything is on the table. He then pointed out the good position they find themselves in with regards to signing new drivers. It is amazing what is around at the moment. That's why you see me very calm. Because there are only 20 seats and we have got 10 potential people which could do the job, which is good. Two of them we have got already. He signed off by discussing his thoughts about Sergio Perez while also talking about another driver he thinks is good. I respect him a lot. You know what he did. I mean, as always said also with Sebastian, it's a pity if we would lose him in Formula 1. The same with Nico Hülkenberg not being here. They're all good people. I don't know what we're going to do. I said there are a lot of options there. Fast feed. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko reiterated that their chief designer Adrian Newey is certainly under contract with them while addressing rumours that Newey might be signed by Aston Martin. He further explained that Adrian recently got to test a rare Aston Martin and thanked Stroll for it, nothing more. He also thinks that their driver Alex Albon is fast when he has the same conditions as Max Verstappen and things are running normally. He also reiterated that as long as Alex meets expectations and continues to develop, he is their candidate. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner, meanwhile, has acknowledged that retired driver Nico Hülkenberg is a very strong driver who is available and still looking for a seat. Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel has surmised that it's a bit of a struggle with the car, but it's been a fight all year. Alex Albon feels that it's all about working with the team and getting comfortable with the car. At points, you just have to get on with it and drive, and that's where Max is very quick. He also pointed out that teammate Max Verstappen is experienced as well in his sixth year now with the team and that he is getting there. Defending world champion Lewis Hamilton feels it will be difficult to keep Verstappen behind during the Tuscan Grand Prix, as Red Bull will make up for around half a second during the race. Helmut Marko thinks they are not as far behind as in previous races. If qualifying mode still existed, they would definitely be a second behind. Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto doesn't know if anyone has been scanning Mercedes' car with a 3D camera, and that it wasn't Ferrari in any case, so he can't respond to that. He also doesn't think taking pictures and scanning is a problem at all. In the end, it is wrong to reverse engineer the whole car. He also suggested that the fact that they told Sebastian Vettel very early in the season their decision for next year was really to give him all the chances to find a seat for 2021. He further added that Vettel will do well in Aston Martin or Racing Point or whatever it is. McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel has revealed that at the moment driver Carlos Sainz is still fully involved in everything they are doing here at the track and also back home. And he also thinks that they will go ahead like this until the end of the season. What should Haas do with their driver lineup? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.